Hey guys, it's Rebecca and Ryan, and welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Today's gonna be a really fun video because it was requested by one of you guys. Yes, on my uh, last first day at UW Parkside, someone requested it. So they asked for us to make a video about what to bring on your first day of college. So that's what today's video is gonna be, and let's just get right into it. So this is gonna be my third year of college as commuting, and I am done. <laughs> so he's done. I graduated in the spring. Wait, can I show them my diploma? Yeah, say what you did for the first two years. Oh, for the first two years I was a commuter though. I went to a community college by my house. But this is the diploma I got from Parkside. Super awesome. This is what you guys are working for. There's a glare <laughs> from the window, but this is what you guys are working for. <laughs> so let's just get right into the video. So we're going to be talking about things that you need, things you don't need, and some things that are essential for dorm life. So we'll just hop right into with electronics. All right, so the first thing on our list is, well actually I'm just gonna list off a whole bunch of things. Um, you're gonna wanna bring your phone because you can use that to look and see what your class schedule is and also to ent entertain yourself in between class. Headphones, I don't think I need to say much about that, but I mean, you know, so you can watch videos, listen to music. So when I had headphones, well I still, for me, I use AirPods and I have one so I can connect to my computer. Yeah. So that's important in case AirPods die. And that leads us into our next item, your phone charger. You can charge your phone or AirPods if they die. Oh, also, bring a portable charger too because sometimes there might not be an outlet. It's really important because outlets are like, when you find one, there's usually someone who's sitting by it and you don't want to be awkward and yeah. plug in right next <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, sometimes there's not a spot near an outlet. <laughs> But I do try and find one for yeah. an outlet. Something that obviously is pretty obvious uh, because of COVID is you need your mask and hand sanitizer. Yes. Don't forget <laughs> your laptop. That's important to keep yourself entertained for Netflix or homework. Yes. Because a lot of teachers are not either going to print things out or they'll have lectures or homework or whatever online and that you need to read. Mm -hmm. And sometimes professors will ask you to bring your computer in and some people don't care if you take notes on there or not. But it's very easy to get distracted on yeah. it. So. <laughs> Just be careful. This one likes to do a lot of online Stop. shopping during class. <laughs> I've tried not to do it. <laughs> but in those really annoying classes, you just can't. I just love it. I get phone calls when she's leaving class. She's like, Ryan, you never believe what I found during class today. Stop. I was like, oh, okay, I guess class went great then. <laughs> snacks and food are very important, especially for commuting life or even residence life. You always want to have snacks on you because Honestly, when I'm sitting down and I'm like working on homework and stuff, I don't want to lose my spot trying to walk over and get snacks. Yes, yeah, so you're going to lose that outlet like we told you're you about. You're going to lose that spot. <laughs> but usually people don't really care if you leave your stuff there. I'm just one of those paranoid people that don't like leaving my stuff. Oh, and water. Oh my gosh. Water, water. bottles? Yes. You need a reusable water bottle. They're so nice because throughout the school, whole building there's water fountains and water bottle filler stations where yeah, you can just fill up your water bottle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are essential. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to bring, especially if you go to Parkside, is um, your student ID. You need it to get in and out of your dorm and also if you want to eat lunch in the cafeteria. Commuters can get a dining plan or people who live on campus can get a dining plan. You also need it at Carthage. Yes. What do I use my ID for? Oh, like some buildings, like if I wanted yeah. to go work out, like you need to have your ID to go work out. Same thing at Parkside. We're just going to do a rapid fire on school supplies. Yes. <laughs> Pens. Backpack. Pencils. Notebook. Sticky notes. A folder. Highlighter. Textbook, maybe. Color coordinated pencils, pen thing, <laughs> highlighter, markers. If you're a nursing student or someone who or really likes anyone. notes. A planner. Oh, a planner. That's a, planner. a major key. Both of us. Yes. Ryan was never a planner person until what, your senior year? Um, yes, actually. Or a dry erase board. You, he has one now. And <laughs> he had one in his yeah. dorm. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, watch his dorm tour. Yeah, we got dorm. We got, I think, two videos of us in the dorm. Probably. Yeah. We probably have more. <laughs> but his dry erase board was really awesome, for, especially for him, where he could just write down, oh, I have to work, or do this, do that. Like, it just do this yeah. kind of thing. I would write down my work schedule, what's due, what's coming up. Um, all things you can put in a planner too as well, but I liked having it on a driveway sport because it was bigger. Okay, so now we're moving on to the section of things that you don't need to bring with you to college on your first day. You don't have to bring all your textbooks with you to class. I would say the first day you don't even need it. Unless, first week, unless the yeah. teacher tells you. Yeah, just, just check the syllabus or Canvas or whatever school platform you guys are using. Just check and see if they have any instructions for you guys. 
I want you to bring with you mm -hmm. to class. Sometimes professors will like scan the pages that you need and they'll hand them out in class if you don't have your textbook. So like, especially the first week, yeah. Yeah, like, and I think right now more than ever because of COVID, a lot of my professors are saying, "Oh, you don't need to buy the book. I'm just going to scan all the pages, so then we don't have to." Agree wow, that's I a know. Hook up. I love that. Only one of my classes though, and it's my statistics class. So. <laughs> Say hello to $400 nursing book. <laughs> oh, take a screenshot of your schedule and like have it on your phone in a, like a photo or you can do it on like your home screen. I know people do that too. Or your yeah, lock screen. I would put it on my lock screen all the time and I would just tap it. I'm like, all right, this is what building I need to go to. No. Yeah. You don't want to be that person that's like, <laughs> where am I going? But you can just like look at your phone. Okay, got to go there at this time. I just felt like having a screenshot on my phone made it more It was just easier. more convenient. Yeah. Oh, don't bring your other classwork unless you have free time to like do it. Yeah. Like I would only bring what I needed for the day rather than my whole schedule and my book bag because that is just too much stuff to carry. So now we're going to move on to all your dorm essentials. These are the top things that I used in my dorm. If you didn't know, I transferred to Parkside on my junior year. So I lived on campus for two years. And uh, some of these were some of the things that I really thought were essential. Okay, so if you want a little bit more in detail of what Ryan had in his dorm, again, make sure you look up the video. We'll have it linked somewhere above here in the description below. So you guys can watch that and you'll see a lot more of what he has. But we're just gonna do another quick rapid fire of things that were really essential. And real quick, and if you do want like another video, you're interested in something like that, um, just comment down below if you want us to make like a video about things you need to bring to your dorm and things you don't need. Because there's a lot of stuff that you bring your first time. There's, that yeah, you're there's like, a lot of stuff. Don't need. Like we went there the first year, the first year that I lived there, the first cars. time. Yeah, and we still had to go to the store to get stuff. So yeah, because last year we yeah. just had like half, maybe like three fourths of his car. So <laughs> we'll do a quick rapid fire. Yes, we'll do a quick, okay. a quick rapid fire. <laughs> a blanket. Oh, that was messed up. Hazel. Oh, you're ruining my clip, Hazel. <laughs> Brita filter. Here you go, Rebecca. I got that water you asked for. Thanks. Did you want a glass? No, I'm okay. Thank okay. you. It's good for my plants. Don't tell them. A fan. Good option. A mini fridge. Dang it, Rebecca drank on my Capri Sun again. Additional seating. Hey, you want me to turn it up? Oh, and this is also major key. A shower caddy. Ooh, and you're gonna want this cool thing called the socket shelf. It has multiple outlets. You can put little USBs into it, and it has a little shelf. You can put your phone or whatever on it. I would put my Apple Watch on it when I was in my dorm. A oh, plug-in scent. Oh, yeah, also oh. <laughs> another another light because the fan or the light in his room it would be like super dim, and yeah. then it would go really really bright. Go to Parkside. <laughs> But yeah, we had, a, we had a little lamp in the corner. It was so nice. I think the additional seating was probably my favorite part because when you have friends come over, like you, they had nowhere to sit other than the one chair. <laughs> one chair or sit on my bed. Like Yeah, I think that's everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Yes, it was super fun to make. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.